Sky, R and Were, a group from uh, New York. They were formed in 1987 out of the ashes of a similar group called Kids at Work. Um, and for most of their uh, working life uh, as a group, they have been two brothers by the name of Hall and a guy called Teddy Riley, um, who took over from somebody else whose name I've just forgotten after the first album. Uh, sorry, no. Um, one of the Hall brothers uh, took over from somebody else after the first album. Uh, they lasted until 1991 when they broke up. This is two albums in, uh, but then they have had occasional reunions and one more album since then. Teddy Riley, however, has gone on to do a lot of production work. Uh, Wikipedia lists 70, 75 albums uh, that he's produced. Hi, my name's Dan. So this was the first album by Guy, and it's called Guy. Um, and uh, so this was the album before the second Hall brother joined them and replaced uh, somebody else. Um, and immediately I put it on, it reminded me very strongly of another album that I know and love, uh, which is Janet Jackson's Rhythm Nation 1814. Um, and... Um, the reason for this is because this is, in the musical genre, New Jack Swing, um, and which is a, a style particularly that I associate with Janet Jackson, but Michael Jackson uh, uh, has you know several albums that were in this kind of style. There were obviously there were other bands as well who, who embraced this. Um, and um, Teddy Riley, who is... Uh, an, one of the members of the band Guy here effectively has been credited with inventing this type of music, uh, New Jack Swing. He didn't name it. So um, we'll try and do uh, some description. Uh, so the word swing is at times, <coughs> excuse me, at times a little uh, inaccurate. Uh, and if you're thinking of swing jazz, now, this is definitely not what you should be thinking of, but it does have, or some of it does have an element of swing to it. Let me try and explain that as a musical term. Uh, so um, if you were to sing something straight, I'm just going to kind of go la, 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 something like that. And then if you were to swing that, what you do is you take the um, every alternate bit and move it closer to the, the one after it than the, than the one before. Technically, you're doing it in triplets or something similar. It's not necessarily entirely clear that it's exactly triplets. So instead of that uh, straight la 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 la, you get la 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 la, like that. Now, in New Jack Swing, you do get this, but it's often very quite fast because uh, it's in the kind of sub-beats that you've got this going on. The other stuff that's going on here is lots of samples. There's lots of electronic kind of sounds. There's orchestral hits. There's a lot of iconic uh, sounds for, you know, say, this music uses the sounds of this music. Yeah, that's self-referential. Um, it's uh, dancey. There's kind of um, some particular drum sounds, some of which are apparently the, uh, the, the classic 808s. Uh, drum sounds um, so there's quite a bit of that on this album and it very much reminded me of things like um, uh, Michael Jackson uh, a little bit later than this and the Janet Jackson as I said um, in fact Teddy Riley did um, produce at least one of Michael Jackson's albums, Dangerous um, uh, it does have some slower tracks on it that are more like soul tracks Again, there's quite an emphasis on synthesizers rather than on natural sounding instruments. Um, and musically, I'd say it was all good. So initially when I, I heard it, I thought, oh, this is a knockoff of Janet Jackson. Actually, it's the other way around, which is that uh, Janet Jackson was, let's not say a knockoff, but adopting this style uh, for some of her music. Um, let's move on to the singing. So some of the singing's good. Some of the harmonies are nice. Some of the singing is not so good. Um, that particularly noticed it. There's some bits which are kind of fast, swoopy bits that um, I certainly can't do them justice. But I might be la 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 la. la but without the la la, 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 la 
And it sounds more like me doing it than like somebody like Michael Jackson who would hit each of those notes on the way down and make them sound distinct. This sounds like a big kind of almost, but mostly slurred thing. And the other thing is that sometimes I'm afraid the singing is flat. And so the singing itself kind of put me off, or some of it did. However, the thing that really I found as a negative of this album was the lyrics. Uh, so I, I know it's kind of dancey pop style music, uh, R&B pop slash funk-ish. Um, but the, the lyrics are incredibly cheesy and formulaic and trite. And as soon as I'd had that thought, I just found it really annoyingly so... Um, and I felt like, yeah, the, you know, somebody has really musical skills, fine production skills, good songwriting skill, not really. Um, and uh, I found that fairly poor, to be honest, so much that I, I it was a big turn off for me. Uh, so I enjoyed it more when I just listened to the music and didn't really think about the words. Uh, so when I wasn't focusing quite so much, the music, you know, it's kind of, the disparity between the two and how much I enjoyed them is is quite strong, I would say. Um, so I'm going to give it a, a mark in the sixes, but it's going to be fairly low, and that's what I think. And I'd love to know what you think, so please do talk to me through the comments box. And that's it from me for now. Even though I hate to leave the or I cried as I walked out the door. The Temptation is asking me to stay, but we